Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, path point control in Adobe Illustrator. I got some wonderful response from my master uh, pen tool tips for Illustrator. And remember, if you're a video user, there's also a uh, videographer's best tool for in Illustrator. So Illustrator is an essential tool in print, design, web, and in video. So what I thought I would do is give you a, a quick look at some of the most important tips about working with points because uh, you can get yourself in a hole sometimes if you think you've joined a point and you haven't and how to move pieces, connect them, average them, and all of that. Let's have a look. All right. So here we've got a drawing of a bird and I'm just going to zoom into this area here and uh, We're going to look at drawing this. So your first thought might be you have the upper portion and the bottom portion and maybe you just need to fill this in and some people will select this and take this from a white fill to a fill and then they look at that and realize oh they need to join these points. At this time they might try to draw it so you think you might have to get the pen tool and click on here and then click on there and do all of that. You don't, and you run the risk of actually adding more points in there. So if you wanna join two points, select them. And the key to selecting is having the right arrow tool. And there's a lot of arrow tools in Illustrator. This is the selection tool. When you drag around those points, you're actually selecting everything. Below that are two different tools, the direct select and group selection. I never use the group selection I use direct select. In fact, that's the first thing I do whenever I start Illustrator is I make sure the direct select tool is selected. Whenever I need that tool, I can hold down the command key and get the direct select tool. If you want the group select tool, add the option key on Mac, alt key on Windows, click on a path. Now you've selected the path and all the points. We just want to select those two points. So with the direct select tool, notice how all of these points are selected. If I drag around these points, they're selected. How do I know? Because they're dark black and these ones are hollow and the color of your path down here in the bottom right, the color that you have selected for this layer when I double click, that's the color of the uh, uh, actual path. I'm, I'm making it black so you can see it. So drag around those and in the object menu path, just control J on Windows, command J on Mac. So select Control J, Command J, boom, and I've made it and I've selected it. Pretty easy. I didn't accidentally move a point while I was trying to click on it and drag it. So Control J, Command J, but this is in a filled path. This might not cause a problem in some workspaces or some workflows, but if you're in a print workflow, this sucker is wrong. It's not close. How do I know? Well, because I made it. And I'll show you down here on the bottom, down in here and take a closer look. What? the heck is that? It looks like it's broken and that's because this is not joined. Um, I know that because I set this up in a way to show you this possible problem. These are not joined at all and it's a little bit more difficult to see when we're looking at this actually as um, uh, this kind of a view. In fact, we've got black on our uh, selection so I'm going to change this to no stroke just so we're looking at the, the uh, points here. So again, with the direct select tool, if I click and drag in here, you can see that we've got a point and you can see the path and we've got a point and you can see the path. There's no path in here. If we look at our wireframe view, if you go to the outline view in the view menu outline it's control y command y on the mac i use this constantly if i'm trying to show the artwork as it really is and you can see right there there is no joining of those points so i just moved that and of course if i undid it i could move it back but i want to show you that when you're moving with the direct select tool you're just selecting this one and snap is on by default watch this as i mouse over you'll see the arrow turn white that's telling me that I'm snapping this point that I'm moving to the point that's existing. 
and again, it looks as if they're joined, they're not. If the two points are on top of each other and I select them, Control J, Command J, join, they join. How do I know they joined? Because I didn't get a dialog box that propped up. If you get a dialog box that pops up when you're trying to join and it asks you to do something, that means they're not perfectly on top of each other. And when I mean perfect, I mean absolutely two points on top of each other. So I'm dragging that, wait for that white arrow to show up. Now when we zoom into this and look at it, it's actually made up of a full closed path. So back, if you hit Control Y, Command Y again to go back and, and forth between outline, we've now outlined that. So let me show you one other thing, and that is averaging points. So I'm just going to create something very quick here. And again, I have the direct select tool I'm going to turn fill off for this and just put a stroke on here, a very light stroke. So let's make this a quarter of a point. That way we can see this stroke. If I wanted to now find a point between here and there that was averaged, I select both of these and back in the object menu, path, average. It's the same as join. It just adds the alt key on Windows, the option key on Mac. And here I have the option of joining. If we look at this, I can join both axis, just horizontal, just vertical. So let me show you vertical first. I'll click OK, and now they're vertically aligned. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut. Let's try horizontal. And oh, now everything was selected. See, that's, I forgot as when I undid, it selected all of those points. So let me select those again. And let's try horizontal, boom. Now they're horizontally aligned. If I use both, select just those points, both, click, boom, they're now aligned. Select that, control J. Two things put together mathematically exactly, average between the two, and then join perfectly. There are critical times I find that when I want math and I want mechanics to take over and leave my hands alone. When I'm joining points and things like that, I don't want to, I want to be as accurate as possible. One last thing I want to show you, let me undo these. Let's say that I wanted to keep the top path exactly where it is and I want to move the full bottom path and I want to snap the bottom last point to that point. I tell you, I use this constantly. This is essential. I'll show you how. So if I select just the point and move it, I'm just moving that point. I want to select, whoops, I want to select the whole thing. So I can either range select it like this, and they're all selected. But even if I move these, okay, I'll move that. Or as I said before, I'm holding the Alt key or the Option key on Mac with the same direct select tool. See how it changes to a plus, click, boom, the whole thing is selected. Now I'll click on the end point. Now I'll move it, get ready for the white arrow. Boom, there it is select join. I love the way Illustrator allows me to be free, but it also allows me to be exact, perfect, mathematically and scientifically right on the mark. So remember, this is useful for everything, for video, web, design, print, everything. Okay. Thanks so much, everyone, to all of the support we're getting here at Video Reveal. I really appreciate it. And if you're new to Video Reveal, please take a moment and subscribe. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, there's a link in the description for you to get your free 30-day trial. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith. It's my job to get you looking your best.